Hello, my friends. I, my name is Lucy McCallum. Among, I'm an entrepreneur. And I've noticed that um, I've been focusing a lot on my other businesses, on part of my businesses on social media. And a friend recently told me that many of you do not know this area of my business or this arm of my business. I am a life coach. I coach mature like women to discover, re reinvent, uh, reignite the fire in their tongues and pick up from where they, their dreams died from or from where they stopped. Or it is wherever they are, even if they are fine, even if they are doing well, but they have this vacuum, this feeling that they could do better. So that's one thing I do. I coach them how to boldly step into their best without apologies and without fear. I coach them because I am an authority in that. I myself reinvented after going through all the phases of life. I reinvented myself at 54. And now I'm about to celebrate, this weekend I'm about to celebrate my 59th birthday. And I can proudly say that that technology or the work that I did is shareable and is doable. And they can do it. Any woman can do it. Actually, anybody can do it, but I specifically work with mature life women because I, I am much more, I have more clarity on their needs and I can help them out. I also own a skincare line. I love my skin. I love helping people get a clear skin. I love helping women look amazing because I like to be amazing. I like, um, I've used the products myself. Yeah, it's my own line. So it's not like I'm selling for another company. It's my own line that I have worked on for over 20 years. And only during my reinvention did I get it out there. Did I Was I able to con be confident and put it out there? The anti-aging properties are amazing. And so because these products help me to look younger for longer, reverse the signs of aging, actually stop and even start reversing the signs of aging, I believe that many women can benefit from them. Apart from the fact that I also use uh, 50 cents, a certain percentage of 50 cents of each product to support another woman as a, as a trust, in a trust. So that's the other work I do. I talk about those two quite often. The work I don't talk about a lot, and I'm just about to tell you about, is my work in mediation. I am a mediator. I'm a registered mediator in the state of Georgia, in the United States. And so I'm going to talk to you briefly about what mediation is, and then maybe talk about where you can use mediation, and another time we can talk, I can talk to you about the benefits of mediation. And I put together some, because the questions people keep asking me are related to what is mediation? Or some people say neutral. Some people say it's part of the alternative dispute resolution process. Alternative to what? Alternative to the court process. Alternative to going to court in a layman's language. I need to say I am not an attorney. You don't have to be an attorney to be a mediator. It helps if you are, but you don't have to be. And I actually, I want to, I don't even want to say it helps. Just say it's not got nothing to do with being an attorney. So. I am not one, even though I have studied law, I have some legal training. I have a master's in legal studies and that has helped me a lot in understanding 
how to work in areas of conflict as an alternative, alternative dispute resolution uh, practitioner. So what is mediation? Mediation is a process that brings people in conflict with a neutral person, the mediator, who assists them in a voluntary agreement. The mediator helps them clarify the issues, consider options, and therefore reach a workable settlement that fits their needs. Every situation is different. Every conflict is different. And so a mediator steps in to help them clarify those issues. Um, let me just give an example of a common an example of um, a dispute and how mediation works. The kitchen has one orange and two cooks need to use it. One cook wants to use the orange for a fruit juice. The other cook wants to use the rind for cake icing. The mediator helps them discover their real interest, which is orange juice, orange rind, as opposed to their stated needs, the orange. The problem can be, can be reframed into, let's say, we can reframe it to who gets the orange, what time. If the second cook gets the orange after the orange has been squeezed out, both can then satisfy their interest. And therefore, the same orange can be used and the dispute will end there and then. Does that make sense? And that's what the mediator does. They come in and they help clarify that. Help them understand what they are real interest in as opposed to the interest they stated. Or change people from their positions. People have positions, they hold such strong positions into their interests. So what what kind of cases might what kind of cases might mediation be used? Let's think about you and I, interpersonal, just plain interpersonal disagreements. Arguments between individuals that may not necessarily involve legal claim may not involve any legal claim. Roommates and family conflicts? Think about it. When you disagree with a roommate, you don't want to be running to court all the time. Or when your brother disagrees with your sister, disagrees with your parents, you, you're not going to be running, you don't want to be running to court to claim something or do you want them to be jailed? I don't even know what you want when you take, when you disagree with your, let's say you're disagreeing over who uses the iron box what time or who uses the, the, the refrigerator or who's not cleaning the refrigerator or the pots, the dishes, you know, such kind of conflicts. Some of them, believe me, because I have family uh, cleaning dishes and tidying up can be quite a huge disagreement. <laughs> so do you want to run to court to solve that kind of disagreement? I believe not. They are well served by a mediation, mediator. So mediation is a good place to be. It's an alternative to the court. How about another situation I'm thinking about divorce and child custody. 
while a mediator will not handle divorce cases, I mean, it's not like a mediator cannot handle a divorce case, but child custody, think about it. There are certain issues about child custody that may be better discussed away from the huge crowd in court or even about divorce. Mediation offers a couple the chance to define what is most workable for their particular situation and to, to tailor that agreement, an agreement that reflects their own circumstances. Things like um, property division, things like uh, who, when the children visit each other, I mean, visit uh, grandparents or visit um, the, the two parents also. Joint decisions. What, what kind of um, sports can this child work with, do, uh, uh, participate in? And is that child uh, benefiting from participating or are they failing in school? Their grades. Who's, how are we going to discuss who goes to the PTA meeting? So all those things. How many times are they going to sleep in my house? How many times are they going to sleep in my ex or my other, their father's house? So decisions like those are very specific and very particular. Perhaps even though the children are young, just giving a scenario, the mother travels a lot. So the, the mother will not be with the children more often. And it, be, it might be for the best interest for the children to stay with the father more times than with the mother. Now, that is a unique situation. And, and, and you, do want, you want to be able to discuss those in a, in a private place where nobody, everyone is not listening to some of the stuff that people say. Maybe there's a girlfriend involved. Maybe there was cheating. Do you really want that out there? No. Alimony, you know, just property division, visitation, and all that good stuff. Of course, child custody disputes are automatically sent to mediation in certain jurisdictions, but uh, not all, of course. Custody and visitation issues are evaluated in terms of the child's best interest. And, of course, the parents' shared concerns. I'm talking about maybe... To all children are also unique and different, just like every relationship is different. And one child may be very good in the academics, the other one may not be, but also very good in sports. The parents know their children, so that they have their concerns about a child. So the best interest of that child is what is evaluated during when we talk about custody and visitation issues. And like I said, the privacy of mediation can, be made, can make it so much easier for people to discuss emotional matters. And believe me, divorce and custody issues are very emotional. And personalities come to play. Think about this. Your personality, you're in a divorce situation in your personality such that you're, you're one of those people that doesn't like even speaking in public or even standing in, you know, having this public thing. Yet you, you, you are forced by the situation to go to a courtroom full of other people that are listening in to tell your business out. I think... I believe you will be served better in mediation where there is the parties, the parties concerned, and a third party, the mediator, who is neutral, who will be able to resolve and have that conversation that helps you uh, discuss those matters that need to be discussed. The court also sends small claims many times uh, civil cases involving small claims, small amounts of money, neighbor or neighborhood dis disagreements, like did you someone did not close the gate or things like those. Small, small, small are sent to mediation. 
make cuts on time on courts because courts can be overwhelmed by the number of cases and with mediation mediation helps um offload that so that the courts can focus on things that on on cases that require much more legal um work i also need to say that whatever argument that people reach into during a mediation that agreement is a contract and is a, rec a good contract so you can take it to court and say we agreed on this in during mediation and this is what it is and you can use it as an as a, as, an, as a contract that you signed both of you signed both parties sign and the matter is over i hope i have made um given you some clarity into what mediation is and the work that i do in that area which i love by the way i love it i love i love love mediation because it, it helps me help people to resolve conflict i guess that's why i also do life coaching because you know, there's conflict that is external and there's conflict that is internal. So many times we don't do many things in our lives because we have internal conflict. So I help also women resolve conflict within themselves. What do I want to do in life? Where, where am I stuck? Where am I afraid? What's all this? That's another way I help people. That's what it is. Problem solving is my strength. Let's solve your skincare problems, your legal problems, dispute rather problems and your interpersonal conflicts that make you not become bold and live an excellent life. Next time, next video, I will talk about what advantages are, what mediation, what are the advantages of mediation? That's what I will be discussing. The advantages of mediation. Thank you. And I hope that I have given you clarity. Bye.